Bob, you're looking surprisingly well for what's been a huge weekend for you. <laughs> How are you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Just, um, you know, still, <clears throat> still tired like a lot of people, I think. Yeah. You know, we're all, you know, probably hanging out for a decent break. Yes, uh, I But still, you are. A, still a busy few weeks ahead of us. Well, the people of Christchurch have voted and congratulations. You are our Mayor. What would you like to say to them? I'd really like to just say thank you, to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's tremendous to uh, know that I've got some solid support going forward, and I'm really grateful for that. And uh, everybody says that it's a humbling thing, but it genuinely is a humbling thing when you stop and think that people have decided to tick the box and give you a job. And, and I'm really very grateful for that, and I thank you very much. And I work hard and uh, do the things I think uh, that we can do collectively to make this city of ours an even better place. That's right, and there's a lot of rebuilding and things going on. Mm. Obviously, um, the earthquake demonstrated great leadership from you, but of course that has to continue now, doesn't it? And well, it does. Um, you know, it's business as usual because 90% of the city is actually back to business as mm. usual, although, you know, retail is down, the, the restaurants are not as busy right now, and we're gradually rebuilding our confidence, I think, about going out because uh, home feels safe. It, mm. it generally saved our lives, so it's been a, uh, a very interesting time but I think we've got an, an extraordinary opportunity in front of us now not only are we able to uh, repair the damaged fabric of the city and, uh, and a big focus has to be initially on the residential areas that have been devastated and the families that have been mm. devastated by this quake. And uh, they've got a lot of adjusting to do, still haven't got the final clarity that they need, which the government tells us we'll get over the next week or two and understand just how it works in terms of people uh, getting their uh, money from the Earthquake Commission to mm. repatriate the land, the insurance money to sort their houses out. But people still want to know, will they have uh, a community and what will it look like and all of those big questions which need to be answered and that's why I want the council straight back to work uh, getting down to the job at hand because you know an earthquake doesn't have any sense of timing it just happens mm. and our political process has to move for that and we've got to get stuck in to work for our community but there's a lot of work as normal you know big programs on new libraries to build uh, new roads to be constructed, the northern and southern arterials. Yes. They have big roading projects that are 30 or 40 years overdue. And uh, if you're around Brougham Street now, you'll see the, the new southern motorway is well underway. Yes, it is. New it's bridges good. going in, new roads going down there. The northern arterial's been brought forward as well. So those are big projects that are very important to the city. The ports uh, sustained a lot of damage through the earthquake, and I suspect there will be some uh, big plans and big visions coming out of uh, Littleton Port of Christchurch in the weeks and months ahead. So I, I think there's a really exciting time to be had and a lot of employment and I think that's <clears throat> out of every you know, uh, dark cloud, there is a silver lining, Megan. Mm. And I think for us, billions of dollars of reinvestment means a lot of employment. I think a very strong local economy. It hasn't, it has started now. You know, a lot of the trades are really busy, but we haven't seen anything yet. There's a massive project that'll have to get underway around rebuilding homes. And, and rebuilding and repairing the fabric in the uh, business areas of the city and the suburban business centres that were hard hit as well. So what are your hopes and dreams, just quickly for Christchurch, for the next three or so years? Well, I want us to emerge from uh, this at the end of three years with a really strong economy. I think mm. we'll have one of the strongest economies in New Zealand. And so as that greater recession, the global recession, begins to retreat, I want us to be really well placed for that. I want us to ensure that we repair the gaps in the fabric of the city with quality, uh, not with just cheap uh, architectural uh, shortcuts, but real quality buildings. We've got a chance to reflect on the heritage and the character that makes our city one of the most beautiful cities on the planet. So I think it's about quality of life as well. Fantastic. Well, um, thank you very much, Mayor Bob Parker. Uh, pleased to see you back. Good news. Uh, on a completely unrelated topic, what do you think about Paul Henry's decision as a broadcaster yourself? Well, you know, I think, I think he's been subject to a big beat-up. I think what he said was really silly and tasteless and, uh, and, and embarrassing, to be honest. But I, I like the guy, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I see him as a, uh, a fairly out-there broadcaster. He's uh, a lot of fun to watch. I mean, initially, I, it took me a while to really warm to him in his role, but he got more and more confident in that. So a big setback for his career, mm. uh, and that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the danger of uh, living in the public space, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right, as you well know. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you very much. Interesting, Bob Parker, and lovely to see you back. That Likewise, is our, Megan. Our mayor. So, well done.